will be discussing on false so i have already discussed about joint in your last class and I, there i told you if there is no relative movement a flex chart happened due to some lateral pressure due to some stress condition due to some tensional or uh, um, compressional stress conditions and there are several types of joints are there also that i have already discussed now uh, one more uh, one more thing i have mentioned there that if there is no what happened in the joint there is no relative movement in the adjacent blocks but if there is some relative displacement in the adjacent block then we will be call, uh, calling it a fault then we will be saying it's a fault okay so a fault is a fracture of discontinuity along which the rock on either side have moved past each other that's called the fault so you can say it's a fracture with having a relative displacement on the either side so here you can see this is the fault line uh, or the if you take a 2d cross section then it will be your fault plane so initially this block and this block was intact and this black zone was generally marked as as a marker so this is the marker bit so by seeing the marker you can identify okay suppose uh, so in this case this will be the marker this block or this block will be the marker so let's consider this is the darker one this is the marker so there is a displacement from here to here so initially this point and this point went together this might be goes down this might go down like this and originally denote fault plane like if this is a fault plane so i'll be denoting like this this symbol is used for faults okay now this planar discontinuity may be due to the tectonic forces which are acting regionally in which case tectonic forces are acting regionally in earthquake event in the earthquake event you will be seeing this kind of shifting and uh, when i will be teaching you the seismology chapter there will be seeing a theory called elastic rebound theory there will be seeing that a uh, fault plane is generated and uh, due to the sudden release of energy uh, you know, during the creation of this fault plane, plane and that fault plane will be created uh, instantaneously or suddenly so that sudden release of energy uh, is a huge amount, amount of energy which will propagate and it will create earthquake okay so it will appear as a earthquake event so a fault may be defined as a fracture along which the blocks on the rock have been displaced relative to each other and this is basically happened due to the tectonic events uh, or the tectonic forces acting regionally like the earthquake events okay and this displacement the displacement i am showing you here it could be of few meters to several hundred of meters or several hundred kilometers so it could be huge the displacement could be huge okay so from few meters to several hundred kilometers or so many kilometers will be your fault uh, or will be your displacement in the fault or uh, along the fault plane okay so before understanding fault so this is also a fault plane this is also a fault plane you can understand so this bit this point and this point let's say this point and this point sorry this point where originally this point and this point were originally intact and see the displacement between them it could be of let's say few hundred meters so you say some pyongyang fault before understanding um, the fault let's let's discuss on several terminologies of faults the geometrical description of a fault will be discussed first then we will be classify the fault on the basis of six types also six parameters are there on the basis of them i'll be classifying the fault okay just like the fold uh, we did so in case of fault what is the fault plane first or foremost example of this uh, or of the four uh, most famous point of fault is called the fault plane So what is a fault plane along which so fault plane is the fracture surface this surface is a basically a fracture surface along which the relative movement has taken place that's why it's called the fault plane this one so the word fault includes both the fault plane and the displacement that occurred along with it so when i'm saying it's a fault that means uh, the fault plane i'm mentioning and along with the displacement happening so this point and this point were originally intact so this is the displacement here okay and a fault plane may be marked curve or some cases will be so here i have drawn a, uh, a normal uh, schematic diagram 
but in nature or in practical you will be seeing this zone is not well defined this is crash zone all or this zone could be uh, this zone could be a curved zone so this might not be a straight line this could be a car uh, that's also called a fault plane and a fault plane may be a, uh, some cases will be fine found it's a undulating even or rough surface you will be seeing on the fault plane so most of the cases you will be seeing the rough surfaces that's the uh, uh, actual point and this diagram or this type of diagram is very it's a simplistic diagram you can consider so the uh, instead of one clearly defined fault plane there may be a number of parallel shear uh, fractures along which the fault movement is distributed so such fracture zone is called the shear zone so in, in, in place of or instead of having a straight line you will be having a shear zone or a fracture zone and uh, that fracture zone um, along with that fracture zone will be the fault movement is distributed along with the fault movement is distributed is called the it's called the CR zone. So it's a, actually a fault plane, but that's not well defined. The plane is not visible properly, or the plane is not defined properly. Then you will be calling it a what you will be calling? You will be calling it a CR zone. Okay. Now, now that uh, as I was discussing the geometrical description, um, let's consider this point and this point were originally intact so this point let's say a and this point is b so this is the slope okay so this is the displacement from a, a to b so it will have a vertical component and it will have a horizontal component so this is the vertical component okay and this could be the horizontal component let's say okay now uh, let's draw this figure here i'm drawing this a and b here same inclined plane I am taking and so this is the marker weight let's say okay So um, this is your A point, this is the B point and it will have a, a vertical component along with it will have a horizontal component, component. this AB and let's say this point is C. So if I draw this is a, if this is our fault plane and this is the marker bed let's say this marker bed and let's say this marker bed here or any marker bed. Um, So by seeing the marker bed, you can understand that the AB is the displacement, which will have a vertical component and horizontal component. This vertical component or the vertical displacement is called throw. What it's called? It's called throw. And the horizontal component here is called heave. Okay. The angle it's making, the inclination plane or the fault plane. So this is our fault plane. I'll be denoting you with this symbol. Okay. So like this. This is how we generally denote a plane as a fault plane. So the, if this is a fault plane and this fault plane is making an angle, suppose or at some angle, this angle theta, and that angle is called head angle. So what is head? Head is the head of a fault, is the angle of inclination of the fault plane measured from the particle. It's very simple, simple. So measure from the particle is called head and it includes both the angle and the direction. So when I'm talking about the head, then it will be, it will be including the direction also. In case of dip, I'm uh, sorry, in case of uh, throw, the vertical component of the displacement of the fractured rock is called throw of the fold, fold, fold. So the side on which uh, the strata appear to have thrown down is called the downthrown side. While the other side of the appear have gone up then the upthrow side. So depending on the throw, if your block moves, so here from this diagram, I have taken the 2D cross section, same analogy I am taking here, same diagram. So here what happened from this point, from A to B, this block shifted, okay. So if I draw it, then you will be understanding. Suppose uh, this could be the, and this is the fault plane.
now it's clear okay so okay now um, this block is called the downthrown side here this is called the downthrown side and this is called the upthrown side depending on the throw so this is this will be the throw here and this will be let's if say see this will be him so here ac is throw and bc is him okay this is the down on down thrown side this is the up thrown side and what will be the strike the strike of the fall direction of its continuity on the ground surface it may be defined as the train of the line formed by the intersection of the fall plane and the horizontal plane so this will be the strike yes, yes. this is the strike of the fall plane and this is the dip of the fall plane the angle they are making is 90 degree now there are uh, other two terms are there that is called the hanging wall and the foot wall if the fall plane is not vertical later we will learn that the fall plane could be vertical there will be a vertical fold uh, that condition is quite possible if the fall plane is not vertical then what happen then only one plane one block will be resting on another so this block so let's say this is a b block and this is a, a block so b block is resting on a block so a block will be called as a foot wall and b block will be called as a hanging wall so this is also a downthrown side this is a upthrown side side okay for for this particular case now if this block goes uh, above then i'll be saying it's a, it's happened only for the reverse fold so let's discuss normal fold and reverse fold then i'll be uh, telling this again okay so strike the direction of the continuity of the ground surface is called the strike so this will be the strike direction so this will be our strike direction this line along this line and this will be the deep direction now three things are also there depending on this slip we can also classify the faults so these are the strike slip fault deep slip fault and the net slip fault so what is strike slip what is deep slip and what is net slip so movement parallel to the strike is called strike slip movement parallel to the deep is called uh, or deep of the fault plane is called the deep slip and net slip is the total displacement along the fault line is called this uh, hello uh, total displacement along the fault line is called the net slip so if you see this diagram here so dp this direction is the deep direction of the fault and this direction is the strike direction of the fault okay so if this block this block b and this this block is a so b block is a hanging one and it moved down okay so it moved down in the along the dip is this amount so whatever i told you uh, telling you that this displacement happened this displacement happened this ab uh, i suppose this is small a small b then this ab is called the ab is called the deep slip direction sometimes you what you will see here that this block is uh, moving sometimes you will be seeing that this block the hanging wall is not uh, uh, exactly on on the same position just like see is ki niche hi aa gaya ye thoda sa idhar bhi jata hai suppose if i draw a diagram like this and we will classify what type of fault uh, that will be classified also so this is our hanging wall okay now so from this point this is the dipping one that's the regular one now if this block is also moved towards the strike like as any like a it thoda aisa ho gaya suppose okay 
so here you what you can see that this block the block b the hanging wall and this is the foot wall it has some component towards the strike so tip ki taraf to aaya hi tha strike ki taraf bhi thoda move hua hai so this is called this is the tip slip and here you are also seeing some offset from the uh, uh, previous position or prepared uh, previous intact position so there is a movement towards strike and this displacement or this horizontal displacement parallel to the strike is called the strike slip condition okay and what will be the net slip if you uh, do some vector addition there then you will get the so this is deep slip this direction net slip this direction or oh, sorry strike slip in this direction and net slip you will be having this direction so it's called the net slip net slip give you the idea of total displacement and here vector addition will be done so if it's a uh, d vector and it's a s vector then the net slip will be let's say n vector okay d vector plus s vector the vector addition will be doing the diagonal addition uh, part you remember from your uh, physics classes okay so net slip deep slip hanging wall foot wall fall plane kisi ko koi question puchna hai isse do you have any question yes i have already i have repeated this part twice that the reason for this displacement okay so the reason for this displacement along uh, a fault for any uh, what ha happened uh, in case of fracture fracture mein kya hua tha kaise hua tha due to some pressure due to some lateral pressure or due to some to be specific stress condition here also during the earthquake or during the tectonic uh, activity uh, regionally these things fault uh, the size of a fault uh, you might not have heard that it could be a few hundred of meters to few kilometers so it could be that large okay so this type of displacement can only happen when a large regional uh, tectonic forces are comes into the are coming into the play so when tectonic forces uh, are coming into the play what we observe the phenomenon we observe that is called the earthquake so during earthquake uh, i will teach you in the seismology chapter that during earthquake generally fault planes are developed and this is the basic reason of fault planes of fault plane develop, uh, development okay net slip deep slip sabko malum chal gaya dekho this is the if this is the foot wall foot wall means jiske upar aur ek block rest kar raha hai that's called the foot wall hanging wall means jo hang kar raha hai simple concept hai so deep slip means this block yahan se ye tak to aaya tha aur idhar bhi thoda sa shift ho gaya got it from the figure from the diagram so this is called this component along the deep is called deep slip this component along strike is called strike slip and next slip you will be having if you do the vector addition and you will have the net slip of uh, amount okay so total displacement along the fault line is called net slip now let's talk about the fault classification so on the basis of apparent movement and this is very important you might want to put a star on this so on the basis of appearance and it's very simple two type of fault you can see one is normal fault another one is reverse fault see this is our classification one okay so on the basis of apparent movement of the blocks what uh, what you can see that this block is their foot wall and this hanging wall hanging wall appears to have moved downward direction the classical fault criteria i was discussing the classical diagram i was drawing okay from the beginning of this class jo diagram me draw kar raha tha that was basically called as a normal fault and here what happened simple criteria is there that normal fault is one in which the hanging wall appears to have moved downward relative to the foot wall so how we can identify by seeing this marker bed like this this dark shade zone is the marker bed so originally or uh, previously before faulting these two were connected okay and what is the fault plane where this is the fault plane so i'll be denoting fault plane or fault plane generally drawn like this this is how you will be marking at fault plane if you are not saying anything there is a fault plane or anything just draw this two arrows okay then you will be getting uh, then any anyone can understand it's a symbol of fault plane it's a common uh, idea now what would be the reverse uh, fault and this is also very common where the hanging wall goes up 
then you will have the reverse font like this so here see by seeing the structure you can also uh, say that this this fault or this block this hanging block is hanging but it goes up how you can identify the displacement so see the fault plane uh, uh, symbol is there so how you can identify the uh, reverse fault by seeing this marker bits on either side so there is a relative movement and here the hanging wall appears to have moved upward direction related to the foot wall, foot wall condition now reverse fault uh, could be of two types uh, of could be of um, generally three types you can say so it's self a reverse fault when the deep angle is greater than 45 degree or generally it reverse fault may kya dekhte ho tum na so uh, most of the cases you see that the low angle reverse fault which is deep is less than 45 degree what do you mean by the deep this so this angle will be less than 45 degree okay if you got confused less than 45 degree theta less than 45 degree now if if a uh, very low angle happened uh, in the reverse fall condition then it's called the overthrust condition okay so um the reverse falls are usually high angle falls but they are produced by the compressional forces the main work is a compressional forces basically make this type of uh, reverse fall or reverse faulting and this falls indicates shortening of the thrust this the fault photograph you are seeing here is called the thrust because the angle here is less than 10 degree that's why it's called it called the thrust fault or oh, sorry it called the overthrust fault so the photograph you are seeing is a overthrust fault photograph so the displacement of the overthrust may be measured in kilometers okay and thrust fault may show large horizontal displacement in the scale of few kilometers or 10 of kilometers see how big it could be where you can see this thrust and overthrust fault uh, in the himalayan region in india is very common uh, to uh, have this kind of fault structure thrust fault and overthrust fault see how this overthrust fault uh, happen if you are giving a uh, differential pressure differential compressive pressure from one side differential pressure means this side you are not giving any uh, stress this side you are giving more stress comparing to this side let's say and this is the plane of weakness this is the plane of weakness so initially me kya hoga this block will be going up going up and it will create a thrusting fault it will create a reverse fault so this is how a reverse fault generally created normal folds in case of normal fold so it's happening due to the compressional forces in case of normal fold normal fold condition or normal faulting it's also called the gravity faulting it's also called the gravity fault why because normal folds are generally developed due to the tensional forces and due to the tensional forces what happen along the plane of weakness there will be a fracture and that block consider is a huge mountain structure and that block can easily go down okay due to the gravity that's why it's called the gravity fault fault and this fault basically indicates what does it indicate it indicates the lengthening of the earth crust okay in case of reverse fault is basically giving you the idea of shortening of the earth crust in case of reverse fault that means it's shortening of the earth crust okay yes tha hota hai thrust uh, over thrust uh, when i'm saying thrust that also includes the over thrust okay so uh, that's a general statement over thrust is the special case of the thrust of uh, fault thrust fault generally uh, reverse fault ko thrust fault bolte hain most of the cases you will be calling reverse fault as a thrust fault because uh, greater than 45 degree uh, it's not possible okay ideally it's a large chunk of area so always will be having the deep angle less than 45 degree 
some cases you will be seeing the that thrust case uh, thrust fault is converting to a over thrust fault when the dip angle is less than 30, 10 degree so in case of thrust fault may so large means this reverse fault may so large horizontal displacement in the scale of few kilometers or tens of kilometers okay is this clear so i'm talking about the reverse fault here ek ek logo ka dusra naam hai actually on special occasion on. now second type of classification on the basis of relationship of the attitude means on the basis of relationship of the strike dip and uh, strike dip bedding for uh, or the bedding orientation so depending on this criteria we will be cri uh, classifying fault in several types one could be is the for strike fault if the fault runs parallel to the strike of the stutter it's called the strike fault so a fault which run parallel to the strike of the strata then it's called the strike fault okay and these examples are given here this is the vb means this dotted this is the marker bit this is the strike of the data and this is the bed this is your bedding plane inside of a rock body okay and this fault is so what is the strike of v1 v this is the strike ss what is the strike of the fault this if you see from the top you can see it's running parallel so strike of the fault plane and the uh, strike of the bed are both parallel in this condition clear in case of deep fault if the strike of the fault plane approximately parallel to the deep of the direction of the um, bed so strike of the fault is approximately parallel to the deep of direction of the bed then we will be calling as a deep fault like this one this one this is a strike fault so this uh, this is the bedding one uh, layer one layer two okay here this fault is called the strike fault and this is called the depot fault because strike of the fault uh, of the fault approximately parallel to the deep direction of the bed okay now for the bedding fault the fault plane along the contact between the beds of the different say, or same lithology suppose a bedding plane is running like this and within the bedding plane you will be seeing uh, or you are seeing that a fault plane is a parallel to the bedding plane like this so the, if this is a bedding plane then a, a, and the fault plane is running parallel to the bedding plane it's called the bedding fault what is the oblique fault oblique fault fault runs oblique to the strike and dip of the strata transverse fault is there fault strikes okay tr fault is there just read it now on the basis of degree of dip you can say it's a high angle fault or low angle fault so high angle fault or dip is greater than 45 degree low angle fault when dip is less than 45 degree so thrust fault is a low angle or high angle fault if you have a thrust fault example so it's a low angle or high angle fault so it's a low angle example this is a high angle example now tell me thrust fault is a low angle or high angle fault plus low angle because it's less than 45 degree this criteria so when uh, you will be seeing any fault so you'll be seeing it's a uh, saying it's a thrust fault that uh, by saying so i can understand it's a reverse fault or you can say it's a low angle um, thrust fault both have the same meaning so on the basis of the slip direction you can also i have already discussed what is a strike slip along the movement along the strike what is a deep slip movement along the movement downward along the dip what is a oblique slip I have already discussed. Uh, oblique slip I haven't discussed. So strike slip. Suppose this is the block A. This is the block B. P block goes down. It's creating a normal fault. Okay. It's a normal kind of condition. And it's moving downward direction. Also it's moving uh, in the in this direction. In the parallel direction. So it has two component. One is the strike. Its movement has two component. One is along the strike direction. The displacement from here you can measure. I one from the deep direction and the net slip of the total displacement you can calculate from uh, using the vector addition now for the strike slip fault movement is horizontal along the strike of the fault okay deep slip fault if deep slip is happening then it's called the deep slip fault oblique slip if the direction of the movement is diagonal uh, this thing i have already discussed now this is the example of the deep slip fault so what about the normal fault and this is your reverse fault so you can say if these deep slip faults are basically it's a deep slip normal fault it's a deep slip reverse fault okay 
so this normal fold and reverse folds both are uh, both are uh, moving um, uh, along the dip okay so it's moving in the deep direction or moving opposite to the deep direction so dipping this fault plane is dipping in this direction okay so in case of normal fault uh, is moving um, towards the deep direction in reverse fault is moving opposite to the fault um, deep direction of the fault plane and in case of strike slip fault this type of fault is also very common and uh, this deep slip fault strike slip fault normal fault reverse fault you will find uh, any earthquake event if any earthquake event is uh, happening what happened? if any earthquake event is happening and that earthquake event can be classified or uh, generally represented with uh, the fault plane it's making it's called the baseball representation i'm not going in details of that uh, if i got time then i'll discuss about that so stack slip fault are also very common and this stack slip fault are where it's neither moving your uh, deep direction or not in the oblique direction it's moving along the strike direction so what's the strike direction of the fault plane it's a vertical fault okay for your understanding it also call a vertical fault but this block is moving this direction this block is moving this direction along the strike the movement is along the strike it's called the strike slip fault okay if 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 this thing happen this b block is not moving in this direction uh, deep direction move na hoke agar strike ke tarah idhar jata then it will be called as a strike slip fault now for the oblique slip fault the direction of movement uh is diagonal to both deep and strike slip fault so this type of example is called your oblique slip fault so this is your oblique slip fault where you can have in where neither is moving only neither is moving in the strike direction or in the deep direction it means not only on the in the strike direction not only in the strike component or strike direction component will be uh, is there deep direction component is also there so it's moving oblique to this point you can see it not in strike or not in deep direction not parallel to the strike or deep direction it's oblique to both then it will be calling as a oblique slip fault so direction of movement in this case is diagonal to both the deep and strike of the fault got it any question Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. It's a strike slip fault. Why? Um, it's a yes, yes, yes. It's an example of the oblique slip fault. But uh, in this case, yes, it's an example of the oblique slip fault. This one. So these two are the deep slip fault. Yes, exactly. And this was the strike slip fault. And this is the oblique slip fault. Okay. Uh, मैं उसको देखा नहीं था इसको मैं लिख देता हूँ और बेटर ओके एंड दिस टू आर द टिप्स लिफ फॉर्ट ठीक है समझ आया ना ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फॉल्ट पैटर्न इट कैन ऑल्सो क्लासीफाई इन सेवरल टाइप वन इज द पैरल फॉल्ट सो इट्स ए सीरीज ऑफ फॉल्ट दिस इज द फिफ्थ क्लासिफिकेशन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फिफ्थ टाइप वी आर टॉकिंग सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द फॉल्ट पैटर्न फॉल्ट कैसे दिखता है मतलब फॉल्ट फॉल्ट का पैटर्न क्या है डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट आई एम क्लासीफाइंग इट सो so faults generally usually uh, faults generally occurs in group and when a number of faults occur together it's called a fault system or fault set or just like the joint set it, we call it a fault system what do we call it's called a fault system so you'll be seeing several fa fault planes f1 f2 f3 these are the fault planes okay see the okay now these fault planes and this fault plane or this set of fault of uh, faults are uh, can be classified into several types parallel fault step fault um, host and graben among which host and graben are very uh, important so what are parallel fault is a series of faults that have same strike and dip how it could be possible so if you you are drawing the fault line parallel then it's possible 
same strike and same dip so you will be seeing series of uh, same strike the strike will be if we have the fault plane are parallel then it will be uh, the strike would be same kaise main bata raha hu theek hai okay if i uh, if i can draw it so this is the this is our uh, let's say it's a normal fault we are having okay okay and along with this i'm drawing it from here so it could be of uh, some other other place also so let's draw it here so it's also creating a fault plane if this is the fault plane a or fault plane 1 and this is the fault plane 2 this one okay this is another block like this okay or it could be of any type it could be of the same uh, position okay it can be of the same position now i am considering the deep angle is same for both the cases you have no problem with, with that if we strike is in uh, suppose east to west the strike direction is east to west then this strike direction will be the east to west so this type of fault or this fault plane 1 and 2 will be calling as a parallel fault and it's quite possible and very simple so what they have drawn here they have taken several example it could be uh, at this point also that is also quite possible okay so the fault plane could be like this also and it could be the reverse fault uh, if you draw a reverse fault that is also possible to have a same strike and same dip so if i take the 2d cross section you will be seeing the fault planes are parallel to each other if i take a uh, sorry um, yes if i take the 2d cross section on the 3d one then you will be seeing the line are parallel to each other this is also a fault plane let's say okay this is the marker bit this is the marker bit here and this could be the reverse fault just i have drawn here are you understanding so parallel faults is a series of faults that have the same strike and dip and such faults generally runs parallel to one another uh, and all head in the same direction with the same angle so the heading or the head angle will be same and head angle will be same means the direction will be same in this direction that all will be heading in the same direction now there is another type of fault that is called the step fault so step fault is is a part of is a kind of special parallel fault why i am telling you it's special the figure i have drawn earlier this earlier condition let's <coughs> okay so this is one fault one block and from there we are having another fault plane or oh, let's say uh, there is another fault plane okay that's the top surface that's the top surface so this is the fault plane 1 this is the fault plane 2 this is the fault plane 3 and it looks like you are on the staircase so this type of fault is called step faults so it's a special type of parallel fault special type of parallel faults where the downthrown of all are in the same direction so the downthrown of eraser to mark so here you can see the down through may say what now so here you can here you can see that down through are in the same direction like this 
okay in the same direction then it will be uh, looking like a steps or staircase then it's called a step fault so in this falls the downturn blocks produce a step like structure that's why it's called a step uh, step fault okay now another thing is there that's very important for uh, you that is graven and host and it's a very common structure so when there is a host there will be Okay. when there is host then there will be graven so what is graven and what is host what is the definition so host and graven both are uh, both will be of normal fault generally and the definition is long and relatively narrow fault draws bounded by parallel high angle faults let's talk about host graven first so in case of graven you will be seeing two fault lines two normal faults directed towards each other means uh, they are directing um, or their directions are each, each other it's not away from each other it's towards each other so gravens are the long and relatively narrow fault draws bounded by the parallelly high angle faults so what is what did you uh, learn that there will be two fault planes which will be directed towards each other okay and what did you learn about graven that that fault plane should be the normal if one section you have taken then you will be seeing it's a normal fault the actual term that i was meeting is you will head towards each other so the heading of this fault the head angle of this fault will be towards each other that's the actual geological term and the it's also called graven is also called ribbed fault okay and rock beds between them are thrown down under the influence of gravity forming a topographical low so there will be a topographical depression depressed area okay it is graven mostly you can see in the uh, oceanic uh, crust or oceanic areas or uh, high tectonic activity area there will be seeing this host and graven it's quite com common there so there will be a depression of certain block will be depressing and that block will be creating normal fault normal high angle fault okay and where the fault planes are heading towards each other two fault plane will be there so these are the key points of graven now what about the host the opposite will be uh, true that two parallel normal faults head away from each other in this case of graven it was heading towards each other in case of host two parallel normal faults are head away from each other okay like this a figure agar yaad raha to tumhara ho jayega wo yaad so you can see is if you draw this fault line you can see this fault line is heading away from each other and in this case heading towards each other and the rock block between them is uplifted to form a ridge so it's a called a ridge generally and in a simpler term is called ridge the host one and it's called the ribbed valley so graven generally creates valley like structure host generally create ridge like structure okay and graven generally uh, formed due to the tensional forces okay so tensional crustal forces which pulls the crust apart i uh, is basically responsible for the formation of the ribbed faults yes Yes. Now tell me uh, about. Uh, let's take this cross section. अभी ये figure हम लोगों का screen पे है इस diagram. Let's take this cross section and tell me which block is resting. This block is B. This block is A. So which block is resting? हाँ. Huh. हाँ. उसमें भी मालूम चलेगा क्यों नहीं मालूम चलेगा? मेरा diagram थोड़ा मैं एक्सपी पेन यूज कर रहा हूँ ना अभी उतना हाँ और किस में नहीं हैंग होता है और किस में नहीं हैंग होता है हैंगिंग और फुटबॉल नहीं मालूम चलेगा स्ट्रैक्स फॉल्ट में क्या होता है इट इट्स मूविंग फास्ट वन एंड अदर सो यू कैन नॉट से इट्स डाउन थ्रोन ब्लॉक इट्स अप थ्रोन ब्लॉक अभी तक मैंने पढ़ाया नहीं कि पार्टिकल फॉल्ट क्या होता है
ओके सो इसमें मालूम नहीं चल रहा टेक दिस फॉल्ट टेक टेक दिस फॉल्ट ओके दिस इज द फॉल्ट प्लेन ओके सो इफ दिस इज योर ब्लॉक बी एंड दिस इज योर ब्लॉक के हुई ब्लॉक इज रेस्टिंग ऑन हुई हुई ब्लॉक इज रेस्टिंग हाँ सो बी उल बी योर यस फुटबॉल फॉर यस 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 वन आल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस वन देन इट विल बी इट्स ए सिस्टम ऑफ फॉल्ट इट्स ए सेट ऑफ फॉल्ट ओके समझ रहे हो ना मतलब ये फॉल्ट का सीरीज है इफ यू हैव टू कंसीडर व्हेन आई एम टॉकिंग एनी ज्योमेट्रिकल डिस्क्रिप्शन देन इफ आई राइट सपोज आई वांट टू राइट अ रिपोर्ट देन आई विल बी सेइंग इट्स अ सिस्टम ऑफ फॉल्ट अबाउंग व्हिच दिस ब्लॉक और दिस साइड ब्लॉक और नॉर्दर्न साइड ब्लॉक इज द फुट वॉल फॉर फॉल्ट नंबर 1 फॉल्ट नंबर 2 दिस विल बी द फुट वॉल फॉल्ट नंबर 3 दिस विल बी द फुट वॉल इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड इट सो दिस विल बी द फुट वॉल फॉर फॉल्ट नंबर 2 दिस विल बी द फुट वॉल फॉर फॉल्ट नंबर 3 ऐसे मैं लिखूंगा लेकिन स्ट्राइसली फॉल्ट में वो तुमको मालूम नहीं चलेगा एन अदर फॉल्ट आई डिडेंट डिस्कस ओके एंड व्हिच इज वेरी आई डोंट नो इफ आई इंक्लूडेड हियर और नॉट सो रेडियल फॉल्ट्स आर देयर रिमेंबर द इग्नियस और द डाइक सिस्टम डाइक याद है ना सो वहां पे मैंने देयर आई हैव डिस्कस द रिंग डाइक और नॉट द रिंग डाइक रेडियल डाइक और द आरक्यूएट डाइक देयर आई हैव ड्रॉन दिस टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर के ऐसे इंट्रूशन ऐसे होता है एंड विल बी सीइंग डाइक इंट्रूशन लाइक दिस ओके ये याद है ना सो दिस टाइप ऑफ फॉल्स आर क्वाइट पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ फॉल्स एक्टिविटिंग रेडियल पैटर्न ऑन द ग्राउंड सर्फेस इज ऑल्सो कॉल द रेडियल फॉल्स दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी कॉमन वेन ये रॉक स्ट्रक्चर इज जनरली solidifies or cooled off or uh, some uniform pressure some uniform lateral pressures are acting in this direction or from this direction uh, the stress is acting in radially in all uh, 360 directions then this type of faults are generally developed it's called the radial fault okay have i talked about the vertical fault Let's talk about the vertical fault. ये मैंने क्यों नहीं इंक्लूड किया I don't know. Uh, next uh, Friday को क्लास है ना तब मैं इंक्लूड कर दूंगा अभी मैं ये कॉन्सेप्ट समझा रहा हूँ ठीक है ना ना लेट्स से इससे अच्छा तो मैं मानूस ने अच्छा ब्लॉक कर लेता सो दिस इज योर ए इंटेक्ट रॉक ब्लॉक बिफोर फॉल्टिंग ओके एंड दिस इज द प्लेन ऑफ वीकनेस द डॉटेड लाइन आई एम राइटिंग इज एन एफ 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 समार्ट को एक इवेंट हैपन और डी टू सम रीजन डी टू सम स्ट्रेस व्हाट हैपन one block due to the gravity may go down just like the normal fault like this then what type of figure you will be what type of uh, faulting you will be seeing isko thoda sa ye karte hain aise rahega Now, what type of folding will be seen here? What type of fold is there, and what is the where the hanging wall, and what, what, which block is the hanging one, which block is the foot wall? Tell me. So, this type of fold is called vertical fold. So, it look like a normal fold, but here the fold plane is not oblique. Okay, so this type of fold is called vertical fold, and this fold. Here the angle it will be making ninety degree with the horizontal plane. Your head will be what will be the head value? Head angle. Tell me what was head? Head head here the head. How did we calculate it? 
if this is an inclined plane with vertical it's the angle it's making it's called head so head will be zero okay zero or 90 degree it will be zero okay it will be zero so head will be zero and it will be vertical it will be perpendicular the fault plane will be but uh, this is our fault plane this is our fault plane and it's perpendicular to the horizontal plane this type of fault is also common it's called the vertical fault okay and it, you can tell it is a vertical normal fault because this block goes down now who, which one is the foot wall which one is the hanging wall no one is resting on uh, so no one is resting on another block each one each one of the blocks are independent okay so a is not resting on b b is not resting on a so this is this side is called the up thrown side this style is called the down thrown side now from the throw description so this will be the throw what is throw throw is the vertical component of displacement is called throw so here only you will be having the throw you will only have the throw component not the hip the horizontal component you will not be seeing so that's why depending on or considering the throw i'll be see, saying it's a up thrown condition or up thrown block it's a down thrown block kya bolenge this is a up thrown block this is a down thrown block okay now this fault i have drawn here is called the vertical normal fault now 